Welcome back, Tater Tots, to the channel for another new episode of our Star Sign Legacy Challenge, episode 17. It is officially Saturday morning, and so this is the weekend that we have all been waiting for because if you guys didn't watch the last episode, both Jackson here and Chris are both feeling pretty burned out from work. And so I figured this weekend we would really try to just have these two relax and enjoy themselves. So this Saturday, we are going to first start off our day on the slopes a bit and then I figured maybe do a little bit of rock climbing. I don't think Jackson's done too much but I want them to be able to climb together so I need him to work on it. He is doing an energy centering yoga routine to prep himself for the slopes, make sure his muscles are warmed up and stretched and Chris is over here making breakfast for them so as soon as they eat we will head on over and then I was thinking maybe not today but maybe Sunday we would go over to the hot springs and that way they go to the onsen and spend time together and you know because we are supposed to do a public woohoo and these two you know could definitely do it there and also we haven't been yet and that sounds like something fantastic to help both of them just you know relax we have arrived at the slopes and I am gonna have her for the first time go on this black diamond extreme slope doing extreme, um, you know, what do you call it? Um, an extreme run. So here we go, I'm nervous. What is she gonna do? I probably should have had her do some stretching beforehand, but you know, it's okay. Oh my gosh, this thing is huge. Oh, land it, land it, Chris. Oh, oh, that was scary, okay. Okay, girl, you are doing amazing. Yes, 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 yes. Do it, do it, do it. And and she landed it perfect. Way to go, Chris. Oh my goodness. She did incredible. I'm really impressed that she was able to do that so well. And Jackson boy, you need to go back up here and keep working on your own skills. So I'm going to have him go snowboarding on the easy slope. Um, we're going to do medium intensity. And then I'm gonna have her do this intermediate slope continuously. Um, and we're gonna have her do it at high intensity. Okay, so for this round, we're gonna follow Jackson here and see how he does. Come on, boy, why are you so sad? Purpose of life. Oh, don't be feeling sad about that. You're just you're just feeling burned out from work. It's okay, Jackson. Oh, he just got a loner snowboard from the lodge for now, but it's a little janky and doesn't feel that great. So purchase a new snowboard for him. Okay, we can definitely do that. That's not a big deal. So, all right, he's doing pretty good. I mean, honestly, he's not terrible at it. I forgot what his skill level is for snowboarding. He's two, he's almost to level three, so he's fine. We're gonna get him there. So don't you worry about it, Jackson. You hang in there, okay? This is a day to just relax and have fun with your girl. Don't be all upset and don't miss significant other for six hours. Oh, Jackson is strong and can go a few hours without missing a significant other, right? So, oh, poor thing. He just loves Chris so much, and I absolutely adore that about him. So, okay, girl, where are you at? Okay, here she is. So she's going to go down for another run. So let's see how she does. Come on, girl. I know you're going to kill it like you always do. Okay, here we go. And yeah, taking it nice and easy, enjoying herself. She's feeling confident. She's had a great breakfast. She's shredding the slopes. And it's beautiful weather outside today. You see how sunny and nice it is? So she can ask for anything better, but she does want him to get his skill up so that they can do the medium or extreme slopes together. But see, we've got the shred the gnar and did it with stees. And what was the other one? A clear mind. I guess it's not on here anymore. But yeah, she is feeling super energetic. He's feeling better. There we go. Feeling fulfilled. Okay, good. So I'm glad he's starting to cheer up a bit. But I figure we'll continue to just work on their snowboarding skill for a few hours and just let them relax. And then, you know, probably stop and get something to eat and then start working on the rock climbing. I forgot where it was again. OMG, I'm always losing it. It's okay. I'll figure it out now. Oh, there it is. And then Agatha Crumble Bottom, we are not talking to you right now. But oh, oh, it looks like my son just woke up from his nap right when I started recording. Oh no. That means I'm going to have to pause it and come back later when he goes down for his afternoon nap. I was so excited guys. I thought I had time. I caught up with my work and I thought he would be asleep a little bit longer but I guess it was a lie. 
but it's okay because he's cute. But okay, Chris, will you keep on going there? And our boy, let's see how she's doing on her skill here. We are almost to level eight. She is so close. And she did start skiing that one day. I don't think he's even tried that. Does, has he even tried rock climbing at all? No, he hasn't. He is brand new to rock climbing and we are at least at level three at it. I guess we could have him read the textbooks, right? He can read a book. Um, from the shelf on rock climbing so maybe we'll purchase that so when he's at home he can read maybe that'll help him relax some I don't know I'm really hoping so I think Chris is about to get her next skill point come on Chris did you do it did you do it yes all right level eight so she can now dare to attempt a risky slope on other sims she also unlocked the ability to do more tricks on the slope so attempt risky slope on other sims what what do you mean by that like you can force them to try a risky slope or something I don't know but oh Jackson stop being so sad and why are you gonna talk don't chat with Judith we don't need to chat with her okay so let's go ahead and come over here and just try to do some um, you know some medium intensity over here on the slope like you're gonna be just fine so come on boy I know you can do it so maybe it's just because he hates this like you snowboard so okay maybe after this run we'll go ahead and have him um, get one out of the bits and bobble machine so I think maybe that will help him out so okay we might definitely have to have him come and shred the slopes on his own so let's go ahead and have him come over to this vending machine thing and see if we can get him something so purchase bits and bobbles let's get you a different snowboard and oh my gosh he's got sore feet whoops from using loaner equipment ouch this loaner equipment isn't so good on the old toots to tootsies yeah jackson's feet are going to keep feeling the burn until he gets something of his own okay so it's okay we're about to purchase you a snowboard so don't you worry don't you worry i'm here and i'm gonna take care of it gonna know some steez and power so that's the basic snowboard um yeah, i think that'll be fine because that's yeah that's for kids so we'll get him this all right, there you go. You got your own snowboard, so we're, we're good, right? Okay, anyways, I think he's had enough of that and it is already getting later. So let's have him do a practice climbing session. And Chris, girl, where are you at? What you doing? Okay, she is still, she's getting in line at the intermediate slope. Okay, girl, I know you're excited. Um, let's have you use the bathroom before you pee yourself from being so excited. But then we're gonna come over here with our boy and practice climbing. Um, continuously a breakpoint climbing session I think we'll just do a practice climbing session I think that's what is gonna work best so let's get these two over here both of them are practicing right now and it's kind of annoying that you can only have one sim per wall because I feel like you should at least be able to fit like two I feel like that's kind of silly but anyways we've got them both trying so Jackson has gotten his skill for the first time for rock climbing so he's having a little bit of a rough go but that's okay oh and he's reached level two great job there Jackson okay and so I mean Chris you can tell she is just loving it she is having the best day ever she is enjoying her time here and and Jackson, what are you doing? He's Oh, he's going to go get some water. He's thirsty. It's okay, boy. I mean, he is hurt. You know, his foot's bothering him. So, you know, we'll keep working on it. It's, it's going to be just fine. And then, so her rock climbing skill, we are at three. We're getting closer to four. So I'm wondering if by tonight we can get her to level four. That would be fantastic. So here we go. I think we're about to hit it. All right, Chris just got level four. Chris can chalk hands to improve their chance of success as well as more ways to climb the medium height climbing routes. So amazing job, Chris. I'm so impressed. So she definitely needs to get herself some kind of a snack because she is starving. So, oh my gosh, the snow is coming down so hard now. I was not expecting that. So, oh my gosh, where is... I forgot where I am. Like, where is everybody else okay here's the slopes okay this is what i was looking for was somewhere for her to come and get some food 
Of course the booth is like closed now though. Ugh, okay. Well, you know what? It's fine. We can just go ahead and head home for the night. They've had a pretty great day. Um, I don't know why he's chatting with Judith again, but we'll send them back on home to relax for the evening and then tomorrow to soothe their sore muscles and whatnot. We're going to take them to the onsen nearby and then maybe to the nearby market and just check things out. Maybe go ice skating or something, but Jackson needs to definitely relax his muscles because this boy, he is so sore, but he has been loving this look. It's snowing for snow of the year. I do have to say that one thing I really love about Jackson is that he seems to try anything that Chris is interested in. Like he, he wants to give it a shot to see if he can like it. And so I think he's having a little bit of a rough go with the rock climbing and trying to keep up with her and snowboarding, which makes him feel, you know, not as confident as he wants to be, but you know, he'll get it. And he knows that Chris is supportive of him and she just wants him to be happy and to be able to, you know, be with her when she's at that level. So, okay. I wanted to see promotion requirements for her we have to reach level eight of charisma so we are almost there and we only need to get four more votes secured so maybe that's something that she can work on doing maybe I can go ahead and have her practice her speech so we can get that part taken care of for the evening and we'll have him get something to eat and maybe we'll just have him read a rock climbing book Good morning, everyone. It is Sunday, and these two have gotten some great sleep, and his old roommate, Sean, came over to visit, and he was like, hey, man, I heard you had a little bit of a rough streak there with work, but, you know, I think you're going to do great. Just keep hanging in there. I know your dream's been to be an astronaut, and I know you're going to become one, so, you know, you just got to keep going at it, and he's like, well, thanks, man. I really appreciate it. We're going to the onsen tonight, so I'm pretty excited about it, or I guess just earlier this afternoon, so he's also getting his social need up, which is good because because this poor boy has been needing some socializing. And Chris, she is just fantastic. She had a wonderful sleep. She had a great time at the slopes. So, I mean, I think hopefully that burnout is going to be, you know, decreasing. I mean, it is showing that it's gone now that they've had some fun. So I think we're definitely, definitely getting places. So, okay, girl, great job. We ate some breakfast. And so we need to get Jackson here ready. He's working on his social, but I think we're going to go ahead ahead and maybe just because it is early in the morning he's feeling insecure if your insignificant other isn't around okay girl I think your boy needs some attention so come over here he is just not feeling I guess appreciated or something so we just need to come over here girl give him an intense kiss you tell that boy how much you love him and want to be with him. So here we go. Here we go. Make him feel calm. Yeah, there we go. Oh, look at her. She's thinking about it. She is thinking about it. You know what? You know what? While she's thinking about it, you know, okay, okay. She is wa wanting to get engaged to him. And I don't think he's had that notification at all. But I think it is true the way that she is that she would actually be the one to propose to him. So, um, new personality trait jealous. Chris was cheated on by someone she cared for and is in a jealous rage. How will she ever trust again? Um, no, you're not a jealous and that's not one of your, um, your traits for this gen. But very sad. Drifting love. Who was he flirting with? His old roommate? Um, that's interesting. I don't know why you would do that. They don't even have a relationship bar. Like, oh my gosh, Jackson, what are you doing? Like, no, talk about marriage with your girl here. Like, she is so mad. And so, uh, honestly, in this whole situation with her being so upset, oh man, she's not in the mood. She is not in the mood. Okay, honey. Okay, okay. Let's, uh, Let's try to flirt with him because we're feeling really sad about it. Jackson, what did you, why would you do this? Give him a gloomy compliment. Like, don't, no girl, like Sean, why are you coming in the bedroom? We're trying to make up with people here. Get out, son. Like we're trying to do things here. Okay, he's like, look, babe, I'm sorry. I was just being funny with him. Like, don't take it seriously. He's like, I can't help it. You know, I just, I get so jealous about things. And it's just, it's really upsetting. And it hurts my feelings because I'm just, I'm really sensitive about it. Because I want us to be together forever, okay? Just, it's the way I am. I think a lot of that has to do too with how she is just so 
like with her politics and whatnot, like she wants it to go her way. So we are going to talk about marriage with him. I mean, things are, I think, looking a little bit more positive. Have a deep conversation. Look, Sean's just over here like watching them chat. He's like, so anyways, so about that game last night, did you guys like that? <laughs> So ask him for advice. Like, come on. Okay, Jackson, you need to do a smooth apology for her. Well, I guess these two are needing some time away from one another, which does kind of suck, but um, okay. Well, oh, he came in and kissed her. He's like, listen, babe, I'm sorry. You know I care about you. Like, this isn't anything serious. Like, it's just an inside joke he and I have from back when I was single and we were living together. And she's like, is that true, Sean? Is he being honest? And he's like, ah, uh, yes. Like, why do you guys have to make everything such a big deal? Like, just calm down, Chris. It's, it's cool. Like, he's always been this way. But, you know, ever since he met you, like, he seriously is like a one girl kind of guy. Like, he's not like what he used to be. And so I don't think you have to worry about it. She's like, he's not just with me for the money with all my politics. It's like, honey, absolutely not. Just... It's fine. Just he would never do that to you. He talks about you all the time, and it's such a snooze fest. It puts me to sleep. Ah, uh, I need some coffee. <laughs> so I think things are going to be better. Um, I think we'll go ahead and maybe send them over to the hot spring to just help them calm down and spend some one-on-one -on -one time. You know, getting that romance up. But of course, he definitely needs to eat something after he showers here. So we will take care of that, and then we'll head on over. We have arrived at the onsen and look at this gorgeous lot do you not like love this I'm obsessed like this is so cozy I want to see what it looks like during the daytime and look at this little fountain OMG the love I have for this is like none other and look this indoor one oh my gosh seriously and so she is feeling still pretty sad about things but look you come in and there's this beautiful desk he's like babe we're gonna have a great time she's coming in to relax she's gonna shower before she gets into the hot spring and he's just no you don't need to go and chat with a child you just need to come on in and you need to change your into your swimwear it's gonna be okay she's over there crying in the shower like it's okay chris like just wash it all out of your hair. Wash all the problems away. And look at these cozy little fountains and whatnot. And oh, Chris, come out here and light this. We need to light this for ambiance here, okay? Come on. Come on, girl. Give it a light. Give it a light. Look at our boy. He looks so good. But okay, she's going to set that up. All right. And here we are into this wonderful hot spring. So we can relax in the hot spring together. And I believe we could do that out here in this one too. So we'll start off in here because she's not really wanting to be necessarily totally alone with him. But you know, I think it'll be a great thing. And I've never actually used any of the actual hot springs in the snowy escape packs. This is my first time. So they seem to be, you know, I think enjoying their like each other. So she's gonna talk about some of her achievements she's made with her career. And then we will Mm, let's see romance what can we do um just give him a little gloomy compliment because she wants to let him know that she's still sad but look at this their relationship bar took such a hit from that situation and it looks like he did accept the flirtation which is really good and so they are definitely enjoying themselves and they're just chatting i think with everybody in here so it is great to see them acting this way I'm going to see if she is willing to kiss him. He's feeling really angry about some unfulfilled dreams, but I hope that's not going to ruin the mood because I was really hoping that things might get a little bit more romantic between the two of them. So come on, Chris, come on. Is it going to happen? This little kid's like, I'm getting away from this couple because they are absolutely crazy. And look, he's thinking about fires. He's feeling mean. And oh, now she's upset. Oh no, oh no. Are they going to kiss? They're acting friendly. Okay. Whew. Okay. We did get to kiss. So things are getting better, but oh my gosh, I need you to like calm down, Jackson. We're trying to have fun out here. Maybe if we send them out here to this outdoor one, um, we can try to relax just a little bit more. So let's see. I mean, I look at the cozy trees and whatnot, and you can see the slopes and things like it's just so relaxing. And 
I'm impressed if he can actually walk barefoot in the snow just to get out here to the hot springs. Like, you know how cold that would feel after your feet have gotten all nice and warm and then they just get really cold again? So neither one of them, like, it's really not going well for them, unfortunately. So uh, I think maybe we'll have to try to go for a few little things, like, um, you know, runs down on the slope maybe, or just maybe we should just have them go sledding together. Maybe that'll cheer them up and help them to calm down. He's in here taking a shower. I was trying to have this be a romantic night, but they're both just so pissed off. <laughs> I'm very sad about that. So um, yeah, well, I've got to pause this anyways, because my son is just standing up in his crib and staring right at the camera. <laughs> He knows I'm watching him <laughs> and so I need to go get him and he's just been playing with his little stuffed animals in there but I think he's done now and it's time for him to have lunch and then I have to work for a few more hours and then I can hopefully come back during his next nap time so all right tater tots I will be back I am back everyone and I have left the onsen so that we can come over here to try to cheer the two of them up since they have been feeling so many different emotions <laughs> since they went there together. And so yeah guys, it has been a hot minute. My son is asleep again so hopefully, hopefully it goes good. And hopefully he feels better now because we actually bought him a snowboard. So I mean he seems like he's in a pretty good mood now so maybe now we should go back to the onsen. <laughs> <laughs> now that they've actually like immediately cheered up the second they left, which is super odd. But um, okay, let's, uh, I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to head back on over here. So because I refuse to believe yet yeah, they're going to woohoo in this outdoor one because I mean, why not? And they're supposed to public woohoo in five different locations. And I mean, if I were them and I was supposed to woohoo in an outdoor location, I mean... Come on, is this a question? Look at this view. Chris has arrived and hopefully, hopefully Jackson is not too far behind. And why do you have boots with your swimsuit? I'm very confused. Something is going on with my cast and I'm gonna have to go in and check on it. Oh, there's our boy Jackson. Okay, look, she's in here. She's warming up. She's like, hey baby, how you doing? How you doing? You just walk around barefoot like what? Oh my gosh, why is he? They all got boots going on in here. So, okay. You need to woohoo with your girl because you got to make up for the things that you did earlier. Let's see if it's going to happen. Are we going to get another public woohoo? Yes, we are. So, thank goodness. So, this would be our second public woohoo, I believe, because I think we've done that bush and then we've got this so we'll have to do three more locations that we'll have to look around to find out something but yeah they are having some fun here you know and so oh man they are they are going at it so um yeah it's beautiful we got the little hearts just like in the hot tub but look at this ambiance look at this oh so cozy i mean i would love to lay here myself and just look at the stars and everything it'd be so fun so these two are feeling fantastic so we have natural healing from good woohooing the natural cleansing minerals of the hot springs weren't the only things heating up the water <laughs> but oh my gosh look you both look so silly walking around with boots like this on like come on please like we're gonna have to go through cast and figure out what is going on and reassign whatever clothes issue we are having but okay can we like um you know just change your clothes just do something i don't know we need to go eat something but oh look it's our girl kimi hey kimi girl what you doing how are things going she must have stopped by the onsen too she's like hey jackson how are things going he's like fantastic so you know she's thrilled to hear that jackson and chris have fixed whatever boo boo was going on between them because you know, she doesn't like it when her friend is upset, but oh my gosh, this boot thing is going to bother me. We're definitely going to have to take care of that. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and uh, let's go get something to eat, I think. Oh, Jackson's going back in here. Uh, but our girl, what is she doing? She has to use the bathroom, but they're both so hungry. Is there any, like... Oh, there's vending machines right here. We could get something to snack on. Purchase a hot food. 
and we can also have him oh, we want him to get a hot food too so we'll have her do it first I'll probably need to just head home with them so that we can get them ready because they do both have work tomorrow and oh no he's off tomorrow but I think she has work yeah she does but maybe we can try to get a few people to um, you know fight for our cause maybe secure some votes fantastic we were able to get this girl here Lucia we were able to get her vote so that's great so I figure maybe we can try some of these people in here oh my gosh it's Bruno I don't think we can ask Bruno he's asleep but I haven't seen him in quite a while I honestly forgot about him and we got another one fantastic so okay so we have gotten two more votes so I believe that puts us at eight. Oh my gosh look at Bruno he's like over there pointing fingers at our girl Kimi boy you got a crush on her I don't even know oh here's someone else okay so we weren't able to get this last person but that's fine we need to get home anyways it is so late it is Monday afternoon and while Chris is at work since um, Jackson has the day off he is spending some time over here just trying to practice on his own some rock climbing because he knows that she has such a big goal of trying to climb Mount Komorebi and wow he's already at level three at the fitness skills so that's fantastic but it looks like he is having a very short fuse that he's not doing amazing at it right away but you know that's okay and our girl here let's see how she has been doing she is currently doing fine she's working on getting her performance up she worked on her charisma just a little bit and we only need two more votes and Jackson here he just needs to get one more logic skill and then of course just get his performance up but you know it's okay we're gonna take all of this in stride and just you know see where we can get it but he is almost to rock climbing level three which is like almost on par with her so there we go level three she is home she's earned a vacation day so okay things are going quite well I think for them and so he just wanted to try to impress her but poor thing he is just feeling Feeling so bent out of shape over it I think he really needs to get that promotion so maybe we'll send him on back he has gotten back and he is so happy to see Chris he's like hey babe I went to uh, practice my rock climbing for you on my day off today she's like really for me oh that's so sweet of you Jackson you're so thoughtful and so and look she's talking about what she wants to eat and all of that and so he's gonna share a secret with her and Mm, let's see what else could we do I mean I do want him to be just share some deeply personal thoughts with her about you know your dreams and what's going on he's just like you know things that just haven't been panning out exactly how I wanted and so I'm sorry if I've been taking it out on you lately but you know how it is you know just the burnout and the expectations and she's like honey just you're fine don't make too many expectations for yourself so she wants him to just relax a little bit so she is going to make dinner I think for both of them so uh, let's see what can we have her make let's do a custom food so let's cook a custom meal and mm, ooh, some tandoori butter naan that'd probably be delicious um, chicken adobo black bean tacos mm, let's do she's gonna make do something special here we're gonna do some uh, uh, let's do some grilled salmon with cilantro rice that sounds delightful I really want some of that speaking of cilantro rice I might be getting some because we might be going to one of my favorite restaurants once my husband gets home from work because okay guys I was supposed to be going to the grocery store today because I really need to <laughs> like I have no meat other than frozen shrimp <laughs> in my fridge or in my freezer and so I need to go to the grocery store really bad so I was gonna do that with baby when he woke up from the first nap during my break then but um, yeah our AC is not working in the new townhouse that we're renting and so the builder is supposed to come by because they said they don't think they actually set it up because they put them in in the winter time and he's supposed to come by either yesterday or today and it's already you know like almost four o'clock and yeah nobody has come by I've messaged the landlord to ask if he knows when the builders coming and still haven't heard anything and so I've been sitting here waiting all day for someone to come over and fix my AC because my son his bedroom was 77 degrees last night and so the poor little guy was all sweaty and then it wakes him up you know and it's just 
it just sucks <laughs> and so oh my gosh girl that looks delightful oh my gosh I want to eat that so bad but yeah so that's why we'll probably go out to dinner tonight because I don't have anything planned let's go light up fireworks at the humor and hijinks festival she's like Yoshi I would absolutely love to but I really need to spend some time with Jackson he's having a rough one today and Yoshi he totally gets it he's like no worries Chris like don't worry we'll do something again later and we do want to check on his little girl and see how she is doing because he is the most precious daughter ever but look he's feeling so much okay well I, I jinxed him my gosh on an adventure so he was adventuring so that made him feel pretty good eat some of this delicious food Chris has gotten home from work and it is Tuesday evening and so I figured since we only need two votes left that maybe we could come over here and try to you know secure our votes with some other people we have arrived at the local market and so I want to see who all is here or at least will hopefully be arriving soon um, so we've got Mao over here so let me come and do a friendly introduction to her and see if we can you know figure something out also Jackson um, he's having a rough time um, we'll study space to see if it can increase his logic skill to help us out and okay great more people are starting to show up fantastic let's get these votes while I've been out trying to secure votes it looks like Jackson was able to reach level three of the logic skill which is fantastic but he is so angry so I think we will um, have him just you know kind of take it easy don't stress himself out but poor Chris has seriously had no luck it is Wednesday morning and I have decided that I'm going to have Chris work from home. So our goals today is that we have to give a speech in Uptown. So we need to go up to San Myshuno. So this might be a good opportunity for us to, you know, try to get ourselves nice and confident and feeling good. And then maybe because she'll be in a better mood, she'll be able to secure those last two votes that she needs. And Jackson is trying to just get himself all centered and focused for the day because we just need to focus on getting his performance level up and then he'll be able to get a promotion and so you know he wants to become more than just that technician and so he has purchased a lottery ticket so I guess we will see and I need to have our girl also try to purchase one so I'm gonna see if I can get her skill up just a little bit more before we head into San Myshuno. We have done it. Chris has reached level 8 of the um, charisma skill so we do need to get her to get something to eat real quick and of course our dishwasher is broken so now we really just need to get our performance and those last two votes so okay and Jackson boy what are you doing he's in a great mood which is fantastic that makes me very happy to see him that way so uh, let's see if we can get him to maybe just study some rock climbing so that he can continue to prep himself and then we'll also have him repair the dishwasher and so, okay girl, come on, hurry up and eat your salmon and then we'll head on out to the city. We have arrived in the city and oh, it looks like Jackson has unlocked the people person lifestyle, but there is currently a protest going on, which of course she absolutely loves, but she is over here giving an expert confidence speech. So hopefully we'll be able to, you know, check off both of those, give a speech and give a confident one. So hopefully that will count for them. But look at all these people. Hopefully they're still here by the time we finish our speech, because then maybe we can, uh, you know, even join the protest. All right, Chris is a one-star celebrity, so she's earned her very first fame point. Not what I was trying to do. Her speech didn't inspire anyone, of course not. Okay, so since we are here and she's feeling amazing, let's try to secure some votes. So let's come over here and do a friendly introduction to Celeste and see how she's feeling about things. And girl, why are you shooing? Oh, girl, are you shooing Yoshi? He's doing such a good job. He's out here trying to support you and everything. So, all right. So let's see if we can now secure a vote from her because I have tried like building a relationship up with people, but it doesn't seem to really make a huge difference. But look at her hair. I love this hairstyle. It looks so good. They did a really good job with this. And so, oh, right. We got someone else. Yes. So, okay. That's another vote. And let's introduce ourselves here to, who is this? Dominique. So, hi Dominique. We'd like to share with you some of our goals we have going on here in the community. So, let's see what we can do here. All right, can we get the one last vote that we need? Come on, come on, help us to get it, come on. Oh no, she doesn't want to. She said, no way. 
So, oh, why are we so angry suddenly? Losing control. Oh, no, I need her to be feeling confident. So, okay, she's going to go cool off for a minute. It's fine. It's fine. So just take a deep breath, you know, and we just got to get that one more vote. One more vote, Chris. I know you can do this. All right, guys, I think we have finally done it. We have gotten all of the votes that we need. So now we'll just have to focus for both of them, just getting their performance up, and then we should be getting another promotion. But okay, guys, this episode has definitely gone on long enough. So I'm going to end it here. So thank you so much, Tater Tots, for joining me. We We've got a lot of things that we are going to have to figure out. I do think Chris would be more the one to propose than Jackson. So I need to figure out when she's going to do that. I thought about doing it when they were going to go to the hot spring together, but then things just did not pan out. And <laughs> they were uh, very uh, having a heated argument and whatnot because of what had happened at home. And so, yeah, hopefully we can repair that maybe in the next episode and have some things work out a little bit better. But, you know, we were able to achieve things. They definitely got rid of their burnout which is, whew, thank goodness and fantastic. And so hopefully, oh, he's feeling playful at work. That's fantastic. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and send her home and all of that. But yeah, so Tater Tots, thank you so much. And if you aren't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any future episodes. And hit that like button and drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. And remember, tell me guys, how do you think Chris should propose? And do you think she would just do it wherever? Or do you think she would like go out and plan it all? I uh, like part of me feels like she would just do it because she just wants to do it whenever it happens. So let me know what you guys think. So once again, Tater Tots, I will see you guys next time. told you so